Thank you for joining us today for the second day of the National Pacific Island Violence Prevention Conference. Thank you to all our incredible presenters and panelists. We learned so much from each of you, from your work and your life experiences, and hope that those providing services to our community, uh, that you have learned something new and meaningful and have some tangible tools, resources, and connections to help advance your work. Tomorrow is the third and final day of our conference with content that has been carefully curated for our Pacifica community. You will learn from sexual health and wellness educators and advocates, Pacifica youth, our sisters from independent and American Samoa who will share their incredible research on domestic violence, as well as the work being done with our Samoan youth. And we will end with some inspiring words from Melissa Natani Jones and Vanessa Malimali. I want to leave with you some final thoughts about today and the theme of our conference, confronting domestic violence at the intersections. Intersectionality is a term coined by renowned scholar and civil rights advocate, Kimberly Crenshaw. She describes intersectionality in this way, and I quote, intersectionality is a lens through which you can see where power comes and collides, where it interlocks and intersects. It's not simply that there's a race problem here, a gender problem here, and a class or an LGBTQ problem there. Many times that framework erases what happens to people who are subject to all of these things. What we have heard today from advocates and survivors from our community is the challenges Native Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders in the US and territories face when seeking help, safety, and justice due to violence, such as intimate partner violence or domestic violence, family violence, dating violence, sexual assault, sexual abuse, and sex trafficking. We also learned how our Pacifica community is not a monolith and that our voices and experiences are marginalized or often silenced under labels including API or even NHPI. Nor are our experiences with violence a monolith of which the presence and extent is often dependent on our multiple identities. As writer, activist, feminist, and womanist Audre Lorde so poignantly said, there's no thing as a single issue struggle because we do not live single issue lives. So I want to honor and uplift Kimberly Crenshaw, Audre Lorde, and other Black feminists and activists who have and continue to educate us in this anti-violence, intersectional, liberatory way of living and being. The National Pacific Island Violence Prevention Conference takes place each year to directly address the lasting and devastating impacts of systems of oppression, which exacerbate challenges and barriers for survivors from our communities. To provide a platform for Pacifica advocates and survivors to share their stories, uplift their leadership, and to really showcase the community-based and culturally grounded work being done to address violence prevention and intervention across our U.S. diaspora. So we hope you will continue this journey with us, that you will join us on the last day of the conference tomorrow. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Take care of yourselves. And we send all our aloha, our alofa to you and your ohana, ainga, family, whanau. Well, thank you and have a good evening.